bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to the garage, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to show you guys the 460 I've been putting together over the past few weeks for the Big Block Lightning. So before we jump into this thing and start burning some dead dinosaurs, let me tell you a little bit about what I've put together. The coolest thing, I think, is this right here. I've taken a standard bore 460. This is an EFI engine with F3 heads, and we've installed a set of Keith Black pop-up pistons. These are about 11cc dome with some valve relief. I feel like this is the ticket to waken this engine up. So one of the major reasons I'm putting this engine together is I wanted to see what an EFI engine can do with stock heads, stock size valves, and just some more compression. I got a feeling it's going to be nice. So I did a bit of cam shopping, and I ended up buying the Comp Cam's Big Mother Thumper. This cam's got a decent amount of lift, but most importantly, it's got a ton of overlap. That overlap is what's going to enable me to run these dome pistons with regular pump gas. So you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to do for fuel management. What I'm going to try to do is run a factory fuel injection. Now my injection is OBD2. I've got a very, very late model 460 computer that is sequentially fired with mass air. I don't even know how I got this thing, but I've got it and it works and we're going to put it to the test with this engine build. But for the test stand, I'm using my Holley Sniper. I've got that bolted on top of this, uh, this adapter I've made. I've got a Holley HyperSpark distributor, HyperSpark CD box, and just for good measure, we bought the Holley Sniper coil. Now, this is not something I plan on putting in the Lightning, but this is kind of plan B. If the fuel injection can't handle it, we're going to put this stuff over in the truck and keep going. But I'd like to save this Holly stuff for another project later, if possible. So I'm going to put a list of all the parts I use in the description below. That way you guys can uh, check it out. Tell me what you think. Maybe tell me where I went wrong. So far, though, I think I got it right. So it revs really fast, probably because I have no clutch on it, but uh, it's still stumbling and dying occasionally. I think that's the Holly system still learning. Let's see if we can get it to refire. I can't help it. I cannot stop playing with the two-step, but uh, my neighbors are probably pissed. But I'm going to wrap this video up right there, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.